we doing today? We are doing another craft video because they make us happy. It's a perfect way to wind down, express yourself, get any stress off your mind, and in the end, you end up with a beautiful custom work of art. So what we will be doing today is customizing our very own pencil cases. Now, these pencil cases were so cool, there was like six to a pack that came inside of a huge plastic box at Walmart. So as you can see, I've used some of the pencil boxes that aren't here right now and uh, we've got all of these left over and the only thing I can think of is crafting. I have a design in mind for this pencil box. Let's see if it turns out. I'm gonna start off by mixing my pastel colors. So here we go. We're gonna need a little bit of pastel yellow. I'm gonna get some white in there to make it even more pastel. Oh, this is gonna be so good. Here's our pastel blue. And pastel pink. The mint green is perfection. We don't need to do anything with it. It's perfect just the way it is. Let's get some purple in there. Ooh, that was a lot. Okay, we're gonna need a lot more white to blend that out. So you guys have seen crayons and how colorful and beautiful they are, right? Like the colors of the rainbow, but what if we had an entire box of pastel crayons? Oh yes. Now before I start anything, I'm gonna take a nail buffer and I'm just gonna buff the surface of this pencil box. And this will keep my paint from sliding off and all of my hard work from disappearing. Just rough up the surface a bit. I'm gonna open the box up and do the bottom and the part that goes in to close it shut. And this will just help the paint grip better. All right, now it's completely buffed out. You can see it's lost its shiny finishing coat. Now it's ready to start being painted on. So I'm gonna start off with the crayon box, get the shape right with a smaller, thinner paintbrush. And I am working at a really awkward angle because we're at the curved part of the pencil box. So I gotta try my best not to get it looking wonky. And very shortly I realize my crayon box is really short. So I'm going to extend that top. Now it's time to fill the crayon box with a coat of yellow paint. This will be the first of many coats. Here's the second coat. And you know, when I was looking for reference pictures online, there's actually a box of pastel crayons. They're called Peppy Pastel Crayons. And they were released in 2013 by Crayola but it doesn't look like the box that I'm about to make. So now we are on third layers of paint. Yep, lots and lots of layers of paint. And you know, just when I thought I really prepared myself and buffed the box out and was a responsible crafter, my paint started lifting. It's that one little spot that just doesn't want to take the paint. And now we're adding details. This box is going to start looking like a real crayon box instead of a blobby mess. I promise.
Now, the letters took me quite some time because I am freehanding this and it's uh, on the harder side to freehand something that uh, you don't have any help with. You can't really use pencil to draw a stencil. So I ended up going over it a couple times. So my shading is going to be in this darker purple color because I still want to stay with the pastel theme and I thought the purple would give it a nice contrast. Here we go with the actual crayons. We have the crayons in the box, but we've got to have some crayons out of the box for what I want them to do later. So I'm just aligning all my pastel crayons out of the box. I very quickly realized my crayons don't fit the box. I quickly become Captain Save a Crayon and I expand the crayons, make them a little chunkier. We are finally done with those pastel crayons. Now these aren't just any old crayons, these are special crayons. They puke out pastel rainbows.
So of course the rainbow also needs second layers and third layers of paint. We are on layer number two. And this part was also one of those parts that kind of gave me a difficult time with the painting of the layers. Don't know what it is about some of the parts of the box that keeps lifting the paint. So underneath the rainbow, I was a little bit stuck on whether I want it to be a paint splatter of all of the pastel rainbow colors or, when in doubt, add clouds. So I just added a whole bunch of clouds and was kind of sort of trying to figure out where I was going with the whole thing. So first I start off with a white cloud and then I transition to a mint green background. And then I take a makeup sponge and cause a whole world of a mess. Realizing that that's not going to work for me, I went in with a bigger paintbrush and started splashing everywhere until I started to find my groove and figured out that I liked the clouds and added some more clouds, added a little bit of purple, added a little bit of pink, kind of sort of started making them look like cotton candy clouds. And even the green background got clouds, because why not? In between the crayons, I added some hot pink because I thought that would kind of set itself apart and not blend in with all of the other pastel colors we added in there. Now I'm gonna take these rhinestones and I'm going to add it to the box. What's gonna make these permanent is when I add these UV LED coats of nail polish and using a UV light, I'm going to cure it. So that'll help it from popping off of the pencil box. I think I wanna use these purple ones and those pink ones are super pretty too. Actually, let's use these pink ones and I'm gonna use my little picker upper tool should pick one right up and using my base coat first I'm just gonna plop a little bit where I want my gem We're off to the sides now. I'm just gonna drag the two rainbow colors down, not the entire thing, and then of course the clouds come to the rescue again. All we do is slap a cloud on there and it solves the problem. So we're finishing off those sides, making it some of it mint green, some of it purple, some of it cloudy with a chance of meatballs. You know what this box needs? More jewels. You know what else this box needs? Sprinkles!
And to finish everything off and seal all the paint up, I'm gonna go over it with two to three layers of Mod Podge. The more the better, because I definitely do not want this paint coming off. And here is the finished product. It's sprinkled, it's got rainbows, it's pastel, all the things that are pretty and fun and definitely my favorite. We've got a box of crayons shooting out pastel rainbows and we are floating on puffy clouds of happiness with rhinestones and a whole lot of bling. I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY fun pencil box, storage box craft. So here's a comparison of the before and the after the customization. In the meantime, let's get some stuff in here. Now for this, since I'm not really wanting to store my pencils or my art supplies in here, I can put, let's say, my body glitters in here my little lip balms. You can store whatever cute things you have. Let's put a gingerbread lip balm in there. Here are some of my lip glosses I can store in here too. It'll fit a ton of things. Here's some more of my ice cream lip glosses, some more lip balms. Let's see, can I fit an eyeshadow palette in there? Here's my eyeshadow palette. It's got the prettiest colors chasing rainbows and it's perfect for inside this new little pencil case. Let's just get all of the lip balms and lip glosses up on top. Lie these flat. I can get some nail polishes in there too. And even one of my highlighters. It totally fits the theme and it fits perfectly. That is super cute. I'm really happy with the results of this. Super happy that we got to do this together and we got to create a piece of artwork. Wham bam shazam. All right, so that is it for now. I will be posting pictures of this on Instagram. If you guys decide to decorate your pencil boxes, I would love, love, love to see them. Tag me on Instagram at Cupcake Kids Club, of course, for my younger audience with your parents' permission. Until next time, I will see you later. Bye for now.